man. Welcome to the Counting Dead Podcast. It's your neighborhood middleman, Slim Key. I'm here with my boy, Devonish B. I got Jalen over here with me tonight. And uh, shit, we got Big Mike with us. And then our special guest tonight, we got Jay Dream. How you doing? I'm good. How y'all doing? Shit, good. I'm good. Thanks for having me. So, to be honest, man, I'm new to you. So, you feel me? Like, I'm just getting put on. So, you got to tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, I'm not from here, so that's probably why. But I'm from Texas. I go to school up here. Um, I just started DJing probably like almost two years ago, mm-hmm. so I'm still fairly new, um, getting my name out there, trying to work on branding and imaging. Um, some people are familiar with me now just because I do the holiday mixes for 92.1, yeah. um, so you'll start hearing me more um, up and coming female DJs. So. What's, what's your tag? What's your tag? Like your tag, your DJ tag. Well, okay, so I don't have an official one yet, but we're working on Pretty and Ghetto. Okay. So that's what, you know, the baby said that, so, and nobody really claims it. So I'm working on that. <laughs> yeah, that's good. How long, um, how long you been like DJing? Or, like, a just... little less than two years. Two years? Yeah. For real? So you, so you still like learning? And... Yeah, I'm still, I'm still new. Yeah, because there's some DJs that have been doing it for 15. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like OG. So yeah, I'm still new. <laughs> but, like, do uh, are you familiar with like any DJs from the city? Yeah. So I work with a lot of people, um, especially with 92. So mm-hmm. RJ, um, Dallas. I work with a lot of uh, some, older people like Flavor, you know, like some real OGs, so, yeah. Where, mm-hmm. where, do you have like a favorite type of genre of music when you DJ or do you have like things you like to mix? As far as like, I know you do hip hop, but like yeah. outside of hip hop. Honestly, just hip hop right now. I do um, a lot of R&B, so like older vibes, I guess, for like brunch and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, but mainly hip hop. Um, I do want to get into more so like EDM music. You know, for the white yeah. people, um, <laughs> just to kind of cater to that crowd because that's where the money's at. Like, no, I want to be able to go to Miami and DJ a party. You know. Facts. You see, like, uh, you follow Cam Girl. Mm-mm. She, well, she DJ. She, uh, she used to be on No Jumble, but she DJ. Okay. She do a lot of like EDM shit, but she, okay. like, she do like um, I was thinking live stream DJ though. Uh, okay. Yeah, but they be sending their bread. Though. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's where it's at. Like, the hip-hop stuff is cool. <clears throat> you won't catch me, like, in a lot of clubs, per se. But I do, like, different private events, the radio now. Um, but, I mean, nothing against hip-hop, but that's what I started with. Yeah. You ever thought about, like, doing, like, one of the live streaming parties or one of those jumps? Not really. Um, like, just kind of, like, having your own platform? I, okay, so I thought about it just because, like, COVID and everything. So it kind of makes you want to do more digital stuff. Um, I thought about it, but I haven't done anything. Yeah, but I know it is like pretty popular. Word, word. And uh, shit, I ain't even get your name, man. What's going on? Heem. Heem. Heem, yeah. Word, word, word. And uh, you, you, this your line, brother? You said. <laughs> nah, <laughs> no. No. Oh, yeah. They, like, they, they brothers. Somebody, they brothers. Brother, sister, yeah, yeah, okay. Fraternity yeah. sorority, yeah. 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 yeah somebody said that to me. I was just. I was just yeah. Nah, I wouldn't be called line, cool. brother. Nah, but we, <laughs> our fraternity sorority is brother, sister. Okay, okay, okay. Word, yeah. word, word. You just like OG. Yeah, be online. Yeah. Um, yeah. What? Where y'all go? I went to Union. Virginia State, right there from Virginia State. Oh, where, where, where? Kind of right. Yeah. yeah. Where you cross? Huh? Where you cross? Fifteen. Shit, yeah, you know Karan. It's my line brother. My cousin. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Karan got Crazy. cousins all around. Yeah. 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 Really just like seeing the crowd's reaction. Mm-hmm. Um, I really cater to like who's out there. So if it's a bunch of forty year old people I know what genre to go to. Mm-hmm. Kinda, you know what I'm saying? Like I know who to cater to. So just seeing their reaction to different stuff that I play. because um, with me being like so young, people don't think I know a lot of older songs I guess. So if I can do that to you and cater to you you dancing, like I just like the reaction of people, yeah. How old are you? 22. Oh, right. <laughs> But if I'm doing these old R&B brunches, you know, some people don't really think I know all the good stuff. What made you want to start? Honestly, just kind of who I hang around. So I'm always around like different artists or like producers, record reps and stuff. So just kind of who I was around. And then, like in Texas, female DJs are kind of popular. So, like up here, it's only like a good handful of us. But back home, like it's really popular. So I just knew some other female DJs, 
And I was like, this shit is cool. You know, they got me some sessions in. I was actually like good with the music and beats and shit, like just naturally. So they told me to take it serious. And I did it. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you like make beats? No. Or you just DJ? Yeah, I just DJ. I do want to start getting into that side of producing, but I haven't yet. Right. Uh, check, check. I know that joint. That joint is way over there. Is it? Is this trap? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
right now. Right, right now. Yeah. Like you'll do that drum right now. And and and, and that's going on. Yeah. Okay. okay. What's going on in Houston? <laughs> I just came from this back here. <laughs> oh, you yeah. what Bow Wow? Yeah, what Bow Wow? Oh no, Bow Wow. He had like I don't know. It was like it was, he had the club back. I don't know how many people were going. Bow Wow. The club. I want to see Bow Wow. I want to say like four thousand people. Some shit. It was some crazy. It was the biggest shit. Yeah. It is. Like, like every lounge there was packed. Mm -hmm. Lounge there, like I like that they had that that much population. That that population that goes out. So the city out. was just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always lit, honestly. Yeah, I'm about to move out there from here because oh. I can't, can't do the bird. Man, you went out. How many times you been out to Texas? That was your first time? Nah, it's my second. I fell in love with it the first time. And I was like, yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta go out there. No, everybody it's, love out there. it's a lot of money out there, a lot of black wealth. <laughs> and I heard it's cheap. Yeah, the cost of living is great. Amazing. Yeah. It's just definitely a way. Yeah, There's always true. something to do there. That's what I like about it. So it's different. It's mad stuff. You go from here to there. It's like different yeah. here. You probably don't got a selection of a few bars, main clubs. Everybody know there. It's like you go to a different, a different bar lounge every weekend, and you don't overlap until a few Man, months later. You just talking about Houston? Right? Yeah, I'm just talking about Houston. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, but I've been hearing a lot of good things about yeah, Texas. Yeah, I hear a lot of good things about Texas. I've never been in Texas. I do want to live in Dallas. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Texas is nice. Yeah, it's nice. But yeah, uh, the mayor of Houston, he mad at Bow Wow. But I haven't had any. Oh, because yeah. oh, 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 I get but she, But now you're telling me shit, the city was just lit in general. You was out there, what, last week? Nah, I was out there this past weekend. Like, I just got back. Uh, today. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, you're saying the city was lit in general, bro. So. It's always, yeah. Because even Dallas is like that. Like, I don't think, we probably closed for a little bit and then everything's been open like, like normal. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I miss that. I miss the streets being clear. Facts, but nobody on the road. It'd be like 5 o'clock with nobody. I miss that. But, um, yeah, you know, shit, what's up? Uh, give me what topic, man. Against the top. Shit. Y'all heard about that Trump rally downtown? Bro, I was down there. It was dead ass. It was dead ass wild. It was wild today? Bro, yes, bro. Downtown. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Yeah. downtown, yeah. bro. They, are, they, they were at the Capitol, bro. Look, what the shit that pissed me off was, bro, it's black people out there with it. Bro, they, oh, said, wow. they said the police was only picking up the black people. Bro. Yeah, they deserve yeah, because what the fuck? Well, <laughs> I seen that too. Why y'all out there? They were down that bitch. Like, I seen like the new black cameras out there. Bro. <laughs> they were riding through that bitch. Hey, bro, I didn't know they were real. Yeah, black people out there today. Yeah, black people out there. Yeah, black people out there. You'd be surprised. Are, they were, the, the quote unquote new black panthers was out there. Yeah, that's what he just said. <laughs> oh, oh sure. real? Yeah. Hey, bro, that's all. Doing what? Nigga just standing out there with guns, looking silly, dapping from white folks. Yeah, see, that's what happened a lot. But yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like on some peace, yeah, like some peace shit. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, bro, I mean, why, why niggas out there in the first place? Cause they goofy. Like niggas ain't even supposed to like, bro, like let them do their trunk rally, bro. Like, they ain't, bro, they ain't even down there for nothing. They just down that joint, running through the streets. Ain't shit about to happen, bro. <laughs> Not it. Now I don't even the capital shit. Yeah, but that's yeah. what they are. They need to just take the L and go on. Niggas so losers. Nah, it's, it's gonna be like this. Like, like, it's gonna be like this for like for, for real. It's probably gonna get worse though. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah, this year gonna be a rough. One. When they get warm, the niggas do a lot more. What's that weather? Yeah, it was a little warm today. Today? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I see you standing down there around all them crowds. It was hot as a bitch. I see you niggas playing you basketball. Down there? Oh, it was like that. It's talking like you did. <laughs> I don't even feel like that outside. I don't even feel that good. I don't even feel that good. I know, but I ain't even cap. I got locked. I was out of the crib today. Briefly. For like 15 minutes. It was cold. <laughs> 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 I'll smoke a break. 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 I'll smoke a break
Oh, that's crazy. No, I know it is. Yeah, I mean, that's just me. I got my keys and my car. I love you. So just take it. Oh, yeah, that shit was. Don't worry. I was on the outside. Yeah, it's still long to be outside waiting, right? Right. In this weather. Right. Phone, phone dying. I'm like, damn. Uh, so I can't make no, can't get too much shit on there. You feel me? Take the set and make my car. I can't even Instagram. Don't open Snapchat. It's life or death. It's going down. Snapchat. Yeah, as soon as you open it, you're on like 5%. Y'all still be using Snapchat? No. I'm probably sending like a message on my Snapchat. Really? I'll probably just do my little streaks. You know, y'all still do that. The streaks, streaks, what's that? You never said streets, bro. See, huh? thank you. You never had, had streets? I, I mean, I know you're 30, but. Yeah. <laughs> you older than him. Oh, you older than him? Yeah. You're the same age, buddy. I got 30, bro. <laughs> people yeah. old, bro. Oh, no, you old. We not that old. 26. 26? Yeah. Oh, shit, I be 26. How old are you? 22. <laughs> That's why we don't What about you, man? 25. I said, shit, man. Yeah. You feel like you're old, bro? Nah. I feel like I'm old already. For real? I ain't gonna lie. You feel like that? Nah. I feel like I'm old already. 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 Nah. I feel like Bro, what you mean? They saying Bitcoin did because like he didn't already hit his peak. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So like you can't hop in. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. bro. Facts. What you mean you can't hop in at this point? Because you know, you this is going to be going down. down. You didn't already missed out on the, the hat. Yeah. Oh, nah, that's not true. I do a lot of investing, so like you know what I'm saying. Um, a lot of like uh. Expert investors are honestly saying Bitcoin should hit 100k by the end of this year. All right, see, I don't think it's gonna go down, but I think like an average, well, I don't want to say average investor, but it's over for like niggas. Like, it depends how much you invest. You feel what I'm saying? Either you, either you like uh, uh, a, I'm not gonna say scary because naturally you scary when it, you know you were new to investing because like I could have like made way more money than I did if I wasn't so scary at the beginning because I had to get used to everything. But like I took advantage when the stock market crashed with COVID, I was buying up, buying up, you know what I'm saying? And as I said, I could have made way more, but it's just like, I feel like still Bitcoin, the reason why it is gonna be going up like that is because, you know what I'm saying? The dollar is losing value, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, you know, we're we're going into a new age of more shit is like electronic, things like that. That's why crypto is really booming because it's like invested in digital gold. You feel what I'm saying? Gold never loses value. You know, you know I, what I'm saying? I feel like Bitcoin is, is gold, but you know it's always other like cryptocurrencies, like things that fall under like silver, or copper and like yeah. shit. Yeah, like everything would be like, silver. Everything. Oh, I mean that one, yeah. I, I think I think Litecoin is gonna be like Litecoin. Yeah. It's gonna be the XRP. I mean, X, uh, I got XRP and all yeah. that. They gonna do it. Yeah, for sure. Like, but but as far as like like a nigga like me investing in Bitcoin, I mean, uh, yeah, Bitcoin, dead, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm that's And you wanna know it's crazy? Yeah, it. You wanna know it's crazy? I swear, my LBs as my witness, I saw Bitcoin at three thousand dollars when it crashed. And I said I was telling I was telling all of them to buy it, but for me I was being greedy and I was trying to wait till it dropped lower, and it never dropped lower. So once it once I woke up one day and it was at seven thousand, I was like I'm not buying into it because there's no point because I'm looking at the averages and before that it was only going to like ten thousand. So I was like I ain't, I don't care about the three whatever whatever. But if I would have bought into that then I still would have been seeing. See, recently, like in the last year, I got into this investment group. And, bro, I'm mad, like, we won't do it earlier. Because it was just like, bro, we got money. And if we would have seen Bitcoin drop that little cop, something like that. Right now, we're looking for something else to invest in. Like, for real? Like, Bitcoin. And, like, we're looking for something else. 
You talking about like cryptos? You talking more like stocks? I want. I'm trying to influence them to fuck with cryptos, but they looking at different stocks. We looking at just stocks right now, but I mm. want them to fuck with crypto. Uh, cryptocurrency. I'll tell you right now. Make sure y'all look out for it because I just bought two new stocks home um, last week. Like a firm, you know, they own by PayPal and all of that. And I bought Poshmark. Um, but the next one I'm looking at is. Roblox. Um, I'm waiting until they drop because all kids, over 30 million kids per day play Roblox. You feel what I'm saying? That's correct. Like, so it's like I, I work at a school and I also got clients and stuff like that that are kids. So it's like, if you know, look at my Roblox. So you might as well, you know what I'm saying, invest in things like that. So it's going public um, within the next couple weeks. Uh, so I would say make sure y'all look out for that if they are investing. You know, doing the stocks and all of that. We appreciate that for sure. Yeah, man. a lot of niggas be trying to hold on to their uh, they, they man, stock. Man, bro, I I'm all about. It's so much money out here for everybody. Man. It's like and, and knowledge like that was held back from our grandparents and shit like that. Because honestly, if they was um, more aware of the opportunities they could have had, they really could have set set us up. You know what I'm saying? Generational wealth. But you know what I'm saying? A lot of you know. The culture I was is just like unless you was in that circle, you wasn't knowing about all of that. Yeah. Like like shit like forex. Like I do I do that, but I'm not a part of the thing about with forex. You got those people. It's like a pyramid company that they just want you to sign up under them and then yeah. get that you know get that residual income from signing them up. Then you got people like me and a couple of my other boys that we got this shit out the mud as far as learning, watching videos, like really just studying all night doing trades. We done, yo, I've done, I told her the other day, I, did, I hopped in the train, I lost a band. You feel what I'm saying? But shit like that happens because it's about how many more W's you can get more than L because nobody's perfect. But on an average, I can make 500 to 2,000 dollars every week. You know what I'm yeah. saying? With trade. So it's like, it's a lot of free money out here. And I just want people to be able to know that. Like, you don't got to be stingy. You don't got to hate on a nigga. You don't got to do none of that. Like, you feel what I'm saying? We supposed to all be building each other up, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like, but people out here, they, they live different, man. You know yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I'm glad you brought him, man. But yeah, uh, yeah, man, now for real, knowledge is power. For real. Yeah. Yeah, just just knowing about stocks, uh, and just knowing about that world, and just knowing, for real, it's, bro, it's, for real, it's like a rabbit hole. It's, mm -hmm. That shit, it's, it's insane. Like, it's yeah, insane. you might as well make, let your money you know, make money in, in your sleep. You feel what I'm saying? That's how, and that's how you are, you know, gonna obtain financial freedom. You feel what I'm saying? Just because of the fact of you, you making money while you sleep. Who, who don't want to do that? You feel what I'm saying? Even if it's a couple dollars, whatever the case may be. But, you know, the power of investing is crazy because even my mans, he bought, when Tesla did their stock split and Tesla was at uh, 300, 400, yeah. I bought into it, but he bought, like he bought his daughter, 30 shares at 300 and now it's at um and now it's about to hit 900 you feel what i'm saying and she's only one so think about by the time she get to 18 ready for college her whole oh yeah so three, three like three four hundred thousand dollars that's like the power of investing they say if you invest about three to five thousand a year in 20 or 30 years you already won't have over seven hundred thousand in your investment account you feel what i'm saying exactly exactly so yeah apple gonna have homes yeah yeah, but regardless, just investing. Period, though. Like, and just regardless the the market in general, so it's it's powerful, man. I just want everybody to get on board because you might as well instead of spending. Like the way I think now is like I'll spend money, but I'll be like, all right, I done spent too much on this. Let me go ahead and throw some of this stuff. Let me throw some. You know what I'm saying? So that can grow and you know shit like that. So the way my mind operates now is just like. You know, let me do priority now, invest, and then, you know what I'm saying, do my fun. Because shit, I like to gamble and all that too. I play poker, I go to casino, I be on all of that, you know what I'm saying? But I try to still make sure that, you know, yeah, I still got money growing that I'm not even thinking about. And it's just growing, you feel what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's real powerful, man. And that way we can, you know, teach our kids, you know, better financial literacy and all of that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, um, at the school I work at with the high school kids, um, you know, during when, like, I'm a counselor there, but, you know, when the teacher was not there, I was like, yo, let me show y'all something real quick. You know what I'm saying? I, I pulled up, you know, how to invest in stock marketing and, 
like it was like a nice little video five minutes where it like it wasn't too confusing for them it was like how to invest in the stock market what does it mean to invest in the stock market and you know what i'm saying they was well intrigued they was like yo thank you for showing us that because they never you know what i'm saying nobody never showed us that when we was in school you feel me and it's just like i was like yo i wish that i knew about the power of you know power of just investing learning different ways to get money you know what i'm saying when i was your age you feel me um just because you don't like so you don't have to feel like you got to you only got to sell drugs. You only got to do whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I always respect the hustle, but, you know, I was just always the type that I, you know, I had to get it the long way, the hard way. I ain't, I ain't care to, like, sell drugs. You know what I'm saying? All of that. Um, but, yeah, bro, it's, it's, it's a lot of um, opportunities out here, man. And, you know, the key is generational wealth. You feel what I'm saying? Perfect. Like, we doing, we doing this. We responsible for the next two generations. You know what I'm saying? They come after us. So, you know, if we lucky enough, we're going to be able to see our grandkids' kids. But, you know, we at least going to see our grandkids. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, we respond. What we do now might, you know, affect them in the future. What will affect them in some type of way. You feel me? So. Yeah, man. Hey, man, that's a lesson on cryptocurrency. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, we. All right, man. What's the next joke? Uh, JT from City Girls said they would have had more hits if uh, outside was open. The fuck outside being open? We got to do anything. Hey, yeah, man, what you <laughs> think? I really, I believe it. Nah, go ahead, go ahead. No, I just fuck with them anyway, so I mean, yeah. I don't, you know, all this shit kind of just go. Because clubs are still open in different places, so there are certain, you know, records from there that still be going. So I don't know which song she's talking about. <laughs> Hey, look, I believe if outside was open, they'd be making hits right now. Y'all, they'd probably be writing up a hit right now. True. <laughs> they, 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 maybe they, outside they, inspires them. That's what they say. Is that what she's trying to say? They don't write their they songs. What the fuck are they going to do? Outside, 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 that's so the one that came home, the one that fucked with the other ones. That shit crazy, man. I, I just learned that, like, not too long ago. I was yeah. like, yeah, I she did. bad. I you didn't know, know it was true at first. She used to, she, she ain't yeah, always been bad. Yeah, I've like, never so seen older pictures. Yeah. Like, like, she probably, maybe so, because yeah, I, I, I ain't got money, nigga. Yeah, money makes you look Money does make you look better, though. That when, that when you got the... Uh, depending on how you, you know what I'm saying? Some people get drunk out. Right, the mud I don't know, man. Mm. But yeah, she fucked with But I was like, that nigga, I couldn't see that. That shit was weird, like, ain't Yeah, that shit weird. You would think shit fucked like a thug ass, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that nigga, she that fuck nigga's fuck a little, uh, I'm a little weird. weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't oh, understand. Man, I'm like, I'm three days, you feel me? She yeah, yeah. he real unorthodox. That's, yeah. all, that's what I'm going to say. I don't know, I'm going to like, like three days. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's crazy, man. Damn. Philly Rebellion. Uh, Bazaar manager had a stroke. Who? Uh, Bazaar from Bazaar from Detroit. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I think I'm going off. I ain't hear what you said. Oh, man. Hey, look, man. I, I, a lot of people probably don't know. No, I know what you're talking about. Hey, bro. But I'm just saying a lot of people probably don't oh, know. Not, not you. Yeah, you're right. But, <laughs> you know, yeah, man. Uh, prayers to Bazaar. You know, go for everything, go straight with him. Keep his manager. Was, uh, oh, was his manager? Manager, not even him. I don't give a damn name. Prayers to that guy. That's what she made to do. He did, though. That's what's crazy. Prayers to that guy. Say, bro, name. I didn't say. Uh, Raz D wants to take a lot of technical tests. He said he got child for the uh, child molesting thing. He said he want to tell his truth. Oh, what? He got child molesting things. He got, he, got he got my less than 2K. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> I mean, she's been out a while. That's crazy. He is. I'm like, yeah, he probably been a while now. But nah, he, he trying to take a lot of check. He want, he want him to take a lot of check. That, that nigga suffer. 
facts and shit for years. That's like 0304. I ain't even trying to think about that shit, man. <laughs> Hey, trying to, he probably ain't trying to think about it either, bro. That nigga probably in that room fighting demons right now. Facts. That nigga probably in that room going crazy. I want him to take a lot of tech attacks. I don't want to on nobody, yeah. What, who, who you talking about? Right. Raz B from B2K. Oh, why he with that? He oh. said they managed, they uh, managed. Yeah, they used to get, yeah, they used to get, like, molested, bro. Like, everybody in B2K. Oh, My Lord, Lord. manager? <laughs> Oh, Mario, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, ain't, I don't know about all that. Oh, no, Mario, you see the bro, I ain't see them pictures, bro. I ain't know I was all of them. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew Raz B for sure. All they pictures know was crazy, bro. I don't, I don't think Omar was going to touch So, so why is they coming out now? Talking about that, like, why are they coming out now? Well, well actually, I think Omar is going to say, bro, never touch him. He probably didn't manage the money, don't know his money gone. You know, he's not paying his money. Yeah, Raz being doing shit, probably trying to get some crap. No, 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 well, you didn't even want playing basketball. Oh, we like you. You still playing basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I'm proud. Yeah. I heard Chris Stokes used to like that. That's how I like that. Yeah, I don't watch that on nobody. I gotta go look at this show. Oh, I'm so great. They need a 60 minute. What's, what's the joke? 60 minutes. Oh, 60 yeah. minutes. Yeah, they need a documentary on Netflix. Uh, 30 for 30. <laughs> <laughs> A little quick 30 for 30 to y'all. Tell y'all about the story. But yeah, man, that shit crazy. That shit crazy. And they ain't taking no lot of tech to tennis. He definitely ain't taking no lot of tech to tennis. You can probably talk to me. That boy crazy. Hey, laughing in my face on the phone? I want you to take a lot of tech to tennis. He said laughing in his face <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> That's disrespectful. <laughs> hey, That's hilarious, bro. You a fool. Alright, what's the next joke? Blueface artist now has blue for blue Oh, yeah. That's yeah. the one with the, uh, the gap? The, nah, she ain't got no gap, man. She got her two. Oh. oh. You, you heard about that, John? That's worse. Uh, what's the name? Her name might be Rashawn. That's worse. Rashawn Rock. Yeah. So, did y'all keep up with, like, the Blue Girls Club? <laughs> I thought that was the OnlyFans thing. It you was an OnlyFans thing. I don't keep up with it. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. He's not really they was always. It was, girl, right? <laughs> it was on his girl, right? It was on his girl. Nah. He got like two girlfriends, right? Nah. He got before the rain out. He kicked one of them joints out. He got oh. before the rain out. He got before the rain out, but it was like a bad like girl's club. Boxing. So he called it the Blueface Club. It was an OnlyFans show. He couldn't pay for it to get the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was lit on that joint. Yeah, I was about to say, that's smart. They was fighting on that joint. Yeah, it was dead ass like a bad girl's club. He was going to the mall and shit. It was dead. That was like a show. It was yeah, yeah, a show, yeah. like a bad girls club. Just think about episode of bad girls club. They don't got bad girls club no more. Right? You, no. They ain't get paid for that shit either. They <laughs> did. Nah, for real. Nah, they just when they did when the interview phone. asked the interview said yo, so why y'all on here? Everybody was like clout. Everybody <laughs> at one time was like clout. <laughs> yeah. and, hey, and it was just like that. But they it, had it was ranged like from the age of like eighteen to like twenty five. Mm-hmm. They should not have nobody eighteen. Yet. Yeah, I don't know. 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 I don't well, you know, there's only one shot that was like an artist in that joint. And that was uh, the one that got beat. Krishan Rock. I don't know. Krishan. Krishan. Chris. Um, mm-hmm. Rocky, that's what they call it. Rocky. Yeah. But she, um, I think she was friends with like uh, Cody Ray. She was friends with her? I think she was friends with her. And then she brought her to the studio. And then her and Blueface ended up like fucking with each other. And then Shotty went on her ground and she started snapping. Like Rocky, that joke. 
Oh yeah, because you're close, man. They close each other now. She was like, you know, she said you had me hang out with y'all. She was, I don't know what you want from that. I got that drum right now. It's tough. Let's see. For baby. She heard over that? Yeah. She heard over that? But he was, she was trying to mess with him or something? I don't know about it. I think so. so. She was just only way I could. She said, uh, she said you hung out with me to suck on your dick and oh. get a feature when this nigga and you screwed over a bitch that don't fuck with y'all, that don't fuck with the politics. Now from that, uh, just from that part right there, I'm guessing. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. She said suck on your dick to get a feature from her? Yeah, I'm saying she said you hung out with me. She talking about Coley Ray? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm tripping, I'm confused. Yeah, like, who she talking about? Who? I don't know, that John is kind of... <laughs> I was, I'm trying to dissect this jump right now. As like, I'm, I'm looking at it. She said, you hung out with me, and then you get a feature when this nigga, and you screws over a bitch that don't fuck with politics. I mean, the bitch that don't fuck with politics it's it's her. Yeah. No, it's her. Like, she's talking about herself a third person right there. Yeah. But I'm guessing she's talking about group facing. And shot. To Cody Ray. Yeah. So he, he said, because she was with Cody Ray, right? Yeah. So basically, bro, just finesse Cody Gray from her. Yeah, she said, now, now I'm blueing you in the booth. I'm confused. Y'all both weird. Especially the nigga I work for. So she told me, yeah. So Coyle Ray got her to suck blue face to get the feature. That's what she's trying to say. That's crazy. Is that what she's trying to say? That's crazy. If that's true. Tell me, that Is that what she's trying to say? Coyle <laughs> Ray got her to suck blue face to get the feature from, from blue face. Just to go in there and fuck with Blueface. <laughs> Why couldn't she just suck his dick? Finesse. Why couldn't she just suck his dick? <laughs> Why couldn't she just suck his dick? I'm confused. I'm still lost. <laughs> like, hey, where you? Yeah, that's um, then she said she don't. She dare that song come out. Uh, What's going on? She said, y'all really showed me how grimy y'all. Remember the bigger picture, I'm the bigger picture. <laughs> a person asked me when I'm gonna start playing or some shit, but yeah. But yeah, apparently she, uh, she mad at that. <laughs> yeah, Toby. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I'm, I'm gonna stick to that story. I'm gonna see what, what else happens. Cause I knew something gonna happen. Mm-hmm. New face gonna say something. He liked the drama. I'm gonna see. But um, I heard about all those young jock shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 I go bro like job. That one, huh? I don't think she had, I ain't, I, I got this one. Wow. Yeah, no, he had commented on uh, the Super Saiyan jump. And, cause she was like, can't nobody handle this. And then he had, uh, he had commented on that jump. He was like, uh, I don't know, he had something, something like trying to test that or some shit. And then uh, Sage the Gemini responded. <laughs> he was like, you know, nah, she straight on head. Yeah, brother, hello, brother. Come on, brother. Yeah, Gemini. He said, what? I don't even know who Super Sin is. I don't know who Sin is. I need to see Gemini. Come across my feet. What do you say, though? I don't know who Sin is. Sage is a Gemini. That's the red nose nigga. Yeah. Like a red nose. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that joke when that joke came out? She gonna shake it. Oh, wow. Aye, aye, aye. She posted a joke. She said, "Make me turn my gangster down." That nigga Jock commented, "said That's easy." <laughs> With the eye emojis. Nigga said, "That's easy." Horny ass niggas, man. Right. <laughs> Before I go pro like Jock, yeah. And then Sage Gemini said, "Now nah, it's not big dog. Go ahead." So they talk. Uh-huh. Sage is her. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And then this nigga, uh, he apologized. <laughs> uh, he said he ain't mean no disrespect. It's a video though. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to find it. What are you talking about, uh, Osiris? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't, like, honestly, right, like, work, bro. yeah, like, my whole thing is, I, well, I don't know. I seen him do a lot of stuff, though. Like, he been switching up a lot of stuff. Or the, or yeah, the he did some other weird shit. Yeah, I'm paying a thousand for a haircut. Who? Who's doing that first? I don't know. But um, <laughs> nah, I, you know what? Honestly, I don't know because a Hyundai truck probably does run like 30, 
thirty thirty five thousand. So he could he could have got a nicer one for the same price. So I don't I don't know what's going on with him though. But he he's he's old old cars. Yeah, I mean some what some it? people go. He's three years old car. Like, he's just like going through shit. He young, right? Bad bad. Them been hitting niggas. How, how old is he? Young Jack. No, no, I'm talking about Osiris. Osiris. I mean, he's a young boy, so he's probably just still finding himself for real. You know what I'm saying? Chopper started um, doing and being spiritual and all that stuff, stuff too. So, you know, oh, man, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really believe Chopper. For real? Man, I think I, I do. Think. I do because I hear some of this stuff, and I'm spiritual and I read and research a lot. So. I be I be hearing when he be dropping certain gems and this shit, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like he is he is trying though for real. You know what I'm saying? I can give you that. I think he's trying, but I don't like how he's doing it. Oh yeah. I feel like I feel like he forced it. I feel like he aggressive with it. I mean just go do your shit, be spiritual. Man. Yeah. You ain't gotta make everybody else be spiritual. <laughs> be spiritual. Yeah. Go be spiritual. But now that he's spiritual, he's like, hey look, whatever I was on, fuck all that. That's what I'm doing now. Like, and niggas, niggas, be, niggas, niggas be going through that. Like the most vicious 360 I done seen was Boom Gang. How he, uh, he was, what's his name that he go by? John, 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 John. Yeah, he's a whole different person yeah. now. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck happened to him? You know what I'm saying? That nigga hit rock bottom. You think that's, that's what it was? Yeah, he was looking yeah. terrible. You ain't seen his last interview. Yeah, uh, no jumper for real. Nah. Yeah, oh yeah, the white, the white nigga. Yeah, yeah, no, he no was like slumped over on that bitch, like uh, talking, he, slurring, he passed out some shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh damn. damn. And he just changed over his life after this. Yeah. Yeah. He went to jail, got out. Hey, he like, that, was, that was a good time. Though. I mean, the nigga came Bump in. was lit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good times, Bump nigga. Was lit. That was some good time. Twenty nine. Chill. You were fifteen. <laughs> he was 15. <laughs> man, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, no, yeah, man, no, it was a good time. Now, now, now. Y'all heard uh, Carrie Irving brought uh, Floyd. Uh, George Floyd, <laughs> George Floyd <laughs> can't play basketball. We can buy him. We can buy him. Yeah. That's how I. Kyrie always, always had to feel hard about George Floyd. Brad, yeah. Brad, no, we, Brad, no, we talk shit about Carrie. Right, but come on, you know, know. he did some positive. But yeah, <laughs> you, you got you got to shout him out for that. You Kyrie mean, always had a good heart, though. He was good doing yeah, that. Uh, as far as what else? You got it this time. Look, man, we know you got it this time. Off the court shit be good, but the fuck. You know, yeah, I know. I'm tight at him because he <laughs> has more. Well, he did that shit because of his negative shit on the court. The court. Like that's why I'm bothered. He was yeah. supposed to play one day, but he ain't even play one day. Y'all know what we was trying to figure out last episode. We was trying to figure out what he called the media. He called them niggas pawns. And I was oh, trying yeah, to tell y'all, yeah. this is why I said, bro, Kyrie's smart, bro. I was like, bro, he manipulative as a bitch. I was like, he called them niggas pawns. Now, for real, I think he slipped up by saying that. I don't <laughs> think he meant to say that. Because now it kind of like let you in, like let you behind the curtain of how you think a little bit, a little bit more. Like, oh, he, that's how he really think. Like, this <laughs> is all chess to him. Like yeah, he really, yeah, yeah. I think he slipped up a little bit by saying pawns, but he a wild boy. Cause then he uh, he tried to go back on. It. He was like, mm, bullshit. But <laughs> no, Carrie, man, I see. I told y'all, bro, he an asshole. And I'm an asshole, so I know what he be doing. Cause I be bullshit. Explain that shit. What are you doing, man? Break it down to, to the non assholes. I mean, I don't know why he's not getting his money. I mean, I'll be getting his money. I mean, I'm for self, so I'm gonna be getting his money. All right. So if you listen for self, I won't. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think so. I'll be getting that money. Sounds like you got two different type of ass. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be <laughs> on the wall. But I'll but I be doing the same thing. You know, I'll be like, man, fuck that. I ain't going to talk to you about it. I'm going to keep this shit to myself. and tell one person. Then let that one but person. But he ain't tell nobody. That's the thing. He, he told his teammates. No, he didn't. He didn't tell his teammates. That was an hour before the game. He ain't told him. But, it, but it's all just part of a, a, bigger, a bigger plan. Man. You feel me? He ain't tell his boss. Bro, that's still asshole. These niggas told me niggas an hour before the game ain't gonna show up. Yeah, y'all ain't showing up. Niggas knew this all day. <laughs> yeah, like. Nigga knew this for two games ago. I ain't showing niggas up. Niggas was warming up. They said, where the fuck Kyrie at? I ain't gonna see no nigga. Nah, but like you said, I do, th- I do think Bro got a good heart. Dude. Yeah, I yeah. do think he made good decisions off the court. You feel me? Let's just get on the court. Yeah. He's <laughs> going to the final second. With the final second. I want him to, but ah, cause you know that's my squad. But ah, I, don't know. I think Leak is taking it again. 
But I think it's Nets is game. definitely gonna give it a good run. But playoffs, man, that shit. A lot of upsets happen sometimes, and that shit get crazy. Yeah. James Harden is going to look terrible in the playoffs. He's going to look terrible in the playoffs. I'm going to play terrible with KD. KD and Irving, I I hope. I don't got him on the finals either. I just want to see how all three of them play together. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to that see how they have being second fiddle. Now nah, they can really get he nice. Get mad That's your team too? The Nets? You got a basketball team? I go wherever LeBron goes, and then all Texas teams. Yeah. So that's me, yeah, me too. But then the Nets, <laughs> I'm wherever Braun will be going. I'm in Nets and stuff. Yeah, we got three of them in here. Yeah. I'm in Fox and Braun for a minute, though. Young Braun. Bro, that's crazy, bro. Braun is his own entity, bro. He, he got true. three. He I'm got like, where, where, where did he go? He that's what team I like. You know who next, though? Uh, Zion. You Zion next up. Zion that's is the next up. And he only 20 now. That's how he's honest. That's the bad From Duke. Yeah, you know, you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, Drake, the first artist in history to surpass 50 billion streams on Spotify. That's insane. That's stupid. That's so it's it's like Drake, Drake. Damn. 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 Bro, you think there's gonna be another stupid. artist bigger than Drake? Yeah, eventually. Yeah, over time. I mean, how, how, how long y'all get? Niggas was nigga. Lil Wayne was the hottest artist. You know what I'm saying? Back in the Early 2000s and shit. The Drake number was insane. But hey man, for we real, I'm going to say it, bro. I don't think we're going to have nobody bigger than Drake for, uh, for, for a minute. Man, I hope not. Right. Yeah, I, 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 I think his number's bigger than Michael Jackson. I really don't. Maybe I kind of want somebody to pass. But I don't think we're going to have nobody bigger than Michael Jackson. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. We might have to pass. We're going to be long gone. <laughs> we <laughs> not going to see it. He might get Jackson. Yeah. You might not see. If you talking about somebody who reached all coaches, Michael Jackson. You talking about Michael Jackson? Right? You know what I'm saying? Is Drake Michael Jackson now? Is that what y'all saying? Yeah. Oh. As far as number wise, because y'all saying like as far as number wise, you talking about male wise? Yeah. 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 Yeah
Ice Cube be slapping. I ain't gonna lie, every he's time I see Ice Cube in the movie, I just think of Friday. Like, yeah, yeah. He, Ice Cube's not a good actor, though. He's, he's a good actor. He, he played in, like, Are, he, we, are we There Yet? And his son's a good actor. He, his son. Oh, yeah. His son. Yeah. He's not a good actor. Ice Cube is the same nigga in everything. Because <laughs> <laughs> he wrote those like, movies. No, like, no, 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 He do the same. He got the same grit and everything. This Jordan, he do the same John Oh, he played two old white, too. It's like Kevin Hart. I think I played in two movies. It's three. Who? Snoop Dogg. He's new to Snoop Dogg. Yeah, I like to know who's in there. He played on um, the one on Netflix. Mac How High. Oh, no, Mac and Dad goes to the high school. Davies. He's like better than uh, Snoop Dogg. Who? Davies.
the the, 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 the Quentin Miller shit. Yeah. Okay. So if he didn't I mean, have those, he said, he said if he didn't have those reference tracks, I mean, but he would say this is this how I look at. Sometimes that should be business. Though. You feel me? It's just, it's just like, I mean, it's, it's, it's just business. business. You could you could do that because you want to put some bread in the nigga pocket. You know? Yeah, it's definitely business. Yeah, but right. one of my businesses is a record label, so my artists is like. They'll write for people, whatever the case may be. Right. So it might not even be him doing it. It might be him giving it to like somebody else, and then they giving it to you. You feel me? Yeah. Like so just that's exactly. How you feel me? Might be like Maybe the middleman. Yeah, middle yeah. middleman shit facts. So it's just like I mean that's business. Drake might not even know who that shit came from. And then what? Uh, Neo Neo wrote to the left with Beyonce. Neo wrote a lot of shit. Neo writes a lot of shit. Like a lot of that's not shit. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who wrote? Who wrote um uh, uh the um JT and uh Yadi 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 wrote the well most of them yeah that shit crazy he wrote like the first couple bars on that joint um, oh yeah, like, <laughs> yeah that shit is business you know what I'm saying but nah I don't I know I know if if I wish Cole would be doing more because he would really could he really could give Drake a run for his money but Cole is just real chill, chill you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, he was real like Ain't social dude. No, no, mm, I don't, I don't know, know where Kendrick Lamar. I don't know where. I don't know where I've been Kendrick Lamar. Right. Cole so can't get Drake around for us. Yeah. He could if he did as much as Drake is doing. Yeah. Cole be He's chilling. Yeah, Cole be chilling. And a lot of people saying, fuck with J. Cole. I'm not no, a lot Who of doesn't fuck, fuck with J. Cole? A lot of people do fuck with J. Cole. When I get J. Cole, it's crazy. You feel me? But and he don't drop to to the to the way he could. He can't. Yeah. You know, I'm chilling. He can't. If he did, if he if he did as much as him, is what I'm saying. Drake does a lot. Cole does, you know what I'm saying. But if you if you would have matched the same work ethic across the board, I feel like he could keep up with him. You feel what I'm a saying? Drake, a Drake versus Cole. Don't do it. Don't do it. A versus battle. Don't do it. Hey, Amen. They don't really. That would really be alright. He not gonna come out that joint. That would be alright. Don't hurt. Drake him like this. God's plan. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> it's just that Drake is oh. constantly dropping new shit. So if you yeah. play cold shit, you paying, oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh yeah, two oh, years ago, yeah, back and shit. Cole losing to that. To Drake. Mm-hmm. 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 He might lose, but he Drake got to take care of it. It depends on how it's going to be. It depends on how it's going to be. Drake is going to play new hits. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to depend on how many songs they go. Because. If you think I mean, about because if you think about it, they go fifteen for fifteen. If okay. you take fifteen J Cole's best songs, nigga, them shits is them shits is yeah, fucking you jamming, fucking you, you rock and shit. You telling me J Cole got fifteen better songs than, than Drake? Yeah, you, you, you cannot got, say that. Yeah. You if you take say that fifteen, bro, take fifteen of J Cole's best songs and you take fifteen of Drake's best songs, bro. Drake is winning. I feel it's like they love just keep up with each other. catalog is better than me. It's going to depend on in that moment what vibe you really feeling. You know what I'm saying? Because it really is different yeah. vibes. You feel what I'm saying? So it depends on who you Because no, some people were saying Jeezy won. No. Exactly. <laughs> some people were saying Jeezy, Jeezy had the, And Jeezy had the more uh, extensive catalog. But I think Gucci won. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people who left it was on Drake. that Gucci. I was on some Drake Gucci type move. Yeah. Going into exactly. It depends on that. Who was really feeling He's like, oh yeah, I can't wait to hit Shirk and beat Sosa in a versus battle. I was, I was, I was telling you. You know what happened? I'm not. Someone told, some people tried to tell me Lil Durk is beating Sosa in a versus battle. Hell no. That's Cap. Mm. I don't even listen to Sosa no more. It don't don't matter if you don't listen to him no more. Just think of Sosa. You don't. It don't. It don't. It don't. It don't. It don't. As much as you listen to Sosa. Facts. I don't know. Dirk got some hits though. Not compared to Sosa. Sosa, that back from the dead, dirt best, dirt best thing he ever did with that John Drake. <laughs> nah, I don't, I, I don't think Dirk is as hard as they make it seem. Yeah, I don't think so. Dirk was harder though back, back, back more back then, but Sosa, Sosa, yeah. Anita, <laughs> he he never laughed. Laughed. don't yeah. like. He can leave that joke for last. He can leave that joke for last. He can just play don't like beat. Right. You can just play the beat. Love Sosa. Oh my 
Oh yeah, that jump too. Yeah. Three on. Huh? Oh, bro, he is going. He got superheroes, nigga. He got Kobe. Superheroes. I've been balling so damn hard on them. Take that, I'm Kobe. <laughs> he better got bounces. So so is crazy. Yeah. So so is different, nigga. But that three P tape been crazy. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Yeah, all that. Sorry for the wait. And niggas bitch right there. They was. I don't even know. I don't even know what you man. I don't even know. They was going in, man. bro. Trying to tell me Dirk was gonna beat that nigga. I was like, Yo, I seen that chain, bro. bro. Dirk said that don't even hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, that don't look hard. That don't look hard. And y'all be going to burn the little turn of glass. Burn the milk. He said, Let me get a burn of milk. He said, Let me get a burn of milk. He said, Let me get a burn of milk. He said, No, burn it. Burn it. Burn it. I have been working to tell him how to say it. He said, No, burn it. He said, The butter milk, right? No, the vertical. The vertical platter. He said vertical platter. <laughs> vertical platter. <laughs> hey, oh. that's crazy. The vertical platter. He was dead ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she said. That nigga was bro. He was off that perk, bro. bro. I think that's just him, bro. I think that's just him, bro. I think that's just him. I think it's just him. Bro, some people just give you that vibe. I think that's just him, bro. Facts. <laughs> the vertical platter. Yeah. Last question before we go into sports. Space Jam 2 is going to be better than Space Jam 2. Hell no. Hell no. Did y'all see the effects on that jump? That shit look bad. Hell no. That shit look lit. Hell no. I think it's going to be better just off Brian Acton. That shit going to be terrible, nigga. Nah, Jordan did. I fuck with Jordan Acton in the first place. I'm going to say Jordan did his motherfucking fuck with that jump too. I fuck with that jump too, bro. But Everything going to be better. I got to see, This jump going to be hard. Because Space Jam, the first one, that shit is a classic. It is a classic. That's called a nostalgia. Yeah, it is. That's, 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 that's the that's soundtrack. Is. That's I don't called know. nostalgia. The soundtrack, R. Kelly did the soundtrack. Oh, shit. What that mean? Nigga, R. Kelly's still hard, nigga. I don't know what he did, nigga. It's music, it's music, nigga. Fuck off. Hey, I forgot on the back of my mind. Everybody don't think like that, though. I didn't even think about that, Jay. Yay, man. Hey, man. I don't look. Who they gonna put out? say about it. Who you think gonna be on the soundtrack for this one? Or who you think? It's like, LeBron. Who put Jay Z on that? He was R. Kelly again. Same scene. Niggas gonna use still all the songs from the first one. Bad. It's gonna be the same shit. He's gonna like, bro. The same <laughs> intro. Everything. Nah, they gonna cancel that job. They might not. Nah, she got R. Kelly. Oh okay. yeah, especially nowadays. They cancel. Man. After after this nigga already. Nah, you people know. gonna watch that and be like, man, I was traumatized. So just because they heard R. Kelly voice. Facts. That shit getting canceled. Done. Gone. Get it out of here. LeBron not to go no more. Space Jam. <laughs> LeBron not to go no more. This five ring hey, that, hey, this movie has this that shit definitely will tarnish it. What's up, bro? I think it's going to be good. This is going to be fine, bro. This is going to be fine. Who do you think going to be the monster? Like, what NBA players you think going to be I, I thought they said it was like Blake Griffin. Fucking. I know Draymond Green got to be one of them. He got to be one of them. Sure. Russell, Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook gotta be the little red jacket. That's that's me, hey, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, like yeah. Muggsy, like Muggsy. So is that really going in the plate? The LeBron? Uh, yeah, yeah, they just came up with the uh, little yeah. picture about that. Yeah. 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 I saw it on his page. So I didn't know if it was like, yeah, yeah. that shit. That's he posted the post page. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he posted the little, little cameo. All right, man. Since we talk about LeBron, man, we gonna hit that into sports. I feel like, man, we see what these scores are. Niggas ass. Y'all garbage. Y'all not making it out the West. The next y'all definitely gonna have the West. Who really think y'all gonna beat, beat the Lakers? We talking about the Lakers now. Bruh, I never LeBron said, James Lakers. Bruh, I never said this about Phoenix. I don't know. Most I say is, bruh, I just wanna make the playoffs. And that's what mm, we're going to do. Yeah, I feel that. Bruh. That's all I've been telling niggas, and then niggas been going on a tangent. So you think they're gonna beat LeBron? Yeah. I ain't even say nothing about beating LeBron. I just said, bruh, we wanna go to the playoffs. Good, bro. You take that little small step, and then we get, and then we get that first seed, bro. Just know whoever the AFC we whooping their ass. That's really yeah, yeah. That's what we interested. But I ain't gonna lie, uh, the Lakers wild, and they, they niggas like twelve and three. Yeah, eleven and yeah, three. That nigga Braun, that nigga Braun is thirty-six. Eleven and three, five shit, game man. winning streak. Normal niggas don't do. Right. I feel like he he went to like. The, the, uh, yeah, like the, the activated zero mode. This nigga shooting the ball and turning around now. Now you look at that bitch go in. He knows what's going in. I want to Steph Curry go to the playoffs in the West. Oh, them niggas terrible. I just like, I like the Celtics. The niggas make a trade for Steph Curry. What y'all doing? Who make a trade for Steph Curry? I mean, what we doing? 
I mean, you're a scary fan, so I'm fine. Yeah. As a Brooklyn fan, what y'all, what you feel like y'all miss? Big man defense. Big man. Defense. Um, yeah, definitely. Big man yeah. defense. Yeah, I feel like that's, big man. I feel like y'all was having a hard time against the Magic. Yeah. But then again, that was their first game. And I didn't yeah. even have a full team playing their first game. Um, I feel like, niggas is still trying to learn find a chemistry between Kawhi and Paul George. You know what I'm saying? Especially now that you had Harden in the mix. I feel like you gotta really find that chemistry. And they can really do it. A lot of niggas talk about like Harden getting out but at the same time, they got nine turnovers. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. 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 Chemistry going how to play with you. Oh, that's what happened every game. That's hard. Yeah, he just, just, just turned turn over. Facts. He just played. I think he just played. He yeah. don't be having no nine turn. Yeah. He was with Houston. He wasn't getting no nine turn. Yeah, like that nigga's definitely a bitch, though. Harden is definitely a bitch. Oh, well, that's probably why you should say he definitely. <laughs> My nigga, that nigga was going in the last four games before he went there. He was going 17 points. <laughs> he went in 39%. He went out like 28. This nigga goes to a new team and scores 32, <laughs> 12, and 12. He was out, bitch. In front of me. I just felt like he went out like a hoe. Once you get rid of him, he went out like a hoe. He's a bitch. Oh, yeah, he did say it, it was easy out there. <laughs> he is up there. And. And it's not even like John Wall playing bad. John Wall playing, yeah, he doing John Wall shit. Ah, uh, hey, we appreciate y'all coming through tonight for real. Yeah, we, we definitely. Hey, for real, J Dream, uh, we on the radio. Go ahead, shout out down there. Even though I don't listen, but you know, oh, wow. it'll still be hell good. You feel me? Like, uh, count this on the radio. So you hey. said people can see somebody who's a player. I just, I just, yeah, I gotta see. But I mean, if she fuck with your shit, and if you send her a hit, and it sound like a hit, then she gonna play that thing. Yeah. And I mean, it, that's, bro, it didn't really be that simple with music. Think about it, bro, why people don't play my shit, bro. It's my crap. It ain't a hit. It ain't a hit. Yeah. For real, bro, I need to rap. Hits get on, okay? That's true. It ain't a hit. People know what it hits up. Hey, man, so we appreciate y'all rocking with us, man. It's been another episode of Count Diz. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. Most important, don't forget to count up. Hey!